How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So today we're going to learn about how to program privacy codes in the Radioddy GM-30 Plus handheld GRMS radio. And this is going to let you basically filter out communications on very busy frequency that you may want to use. And we got to understand here that it's not really going to make your communications private. It's just going to filter out any other communications that are being broadcast without the privacy code that you set. Now I will say this, that if you want to learn the nitty gritty and kind of get a real example and a demonstration on how privacy codes work, I have a link below that goes into a lot more detail. But in this video, we're gonna just focus on the programming, the meat and potatoes of this uh, to kind of get you on your way. But if you're interested in more detail, you're gonna to wanna to check out this radio or check out that other video. Now, I also have another video on how to use the menu system on this, how to make changes uh, on the radio, how to do general programming of the radio. So if you've never programmed this radio before and you want some more details on that and how to use the menu system and how all that works, I also have a uh, programming video specifically for the Radio Audi GM30 Plus. So I'll leave those links in the description. That way you can get a little bit more detail and kind of learn uh, the ins and outs of this radio a little bit more. But with that said, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to program those privacy codes. So let's get started. What we're gonna do here is use the P2 button to select the display you want, right? Remember this has two different displays on it. It's got a top and a bottom that you can be working with. I'm gonna go ahead and select the top most uh, display. And you can see here that we are on a channel, GRMS channel 10. That's going to be a frequency of 467.61250 megahertz. And what we're going to do is program in a CTCSS privacy code on this. And this is going to filter communications on this channel, right? So again, the settings that you make uh, for your channels is going to be only set for the channel that you have selected. That means different channels can have different privacy codes and different settings for it, okay? So we're going to go ahead and hit men the menu button. We're going to scroll down to program channel, hit menu again. We're going to scroll down to RX CTCSS, hit menu again. And then we're going to select the CTCSS um, code that we want. I'm going to put pick 71.9, click OK. I don't know if that took or not. Let's go double check. I might not have waited. Uh, I think I waited too long before the menu timed out. So again, hit menu, go to program channel, go down to RxCTCSS, hit OK again, go down to 71.9, hit OK again, and wait for that save OK. Scroll down to TxCTCSS, hit menu, go down to the same one that you selected, in this case 71.9, click OK. And now you have uh, CTCSS privacy codes programmed into channel number 10 or 467.612 megahertz. And so this is how you program privacy codes into your GM30+. Plus. Now, of course, if you wanna use DCS, it works the same way. You hit menu, go down to program channel, go down to RX DCS, click menu again, select the one you want. In this case, we'll just like 025. Now, just for fun, go back up to RX CTCSS, hit menu again, and you'll see that it's turned off, right? That's because you can only use CTCSS or DCS. Now we'll go to our TX DCS, select 025, and now you have your radio set with a DCS privacy code. And now you can hit exit all the way out back to the main screen and make sure all your GRMS radios are on the same frequency or the same channel with the same privacy codes and you'll be able to communicate, uh, but you're gonna filter out any other communication on that frequency or, and uh, channel that does not use that privacy code, right? So it's a really good way to filter out communications on a busy frequency. Well, folks, that's a wrap for programming privacy codes into the Radioddy GM-30 Plus handheld GRMS radio. Now you have two radios. They're programmed both with receive and transmit uh, CTCSS codes, the same codes. And now when you're transmitting, you will basically be able to talk to each other. However, if somebody else is on that same frequency and they're not using those codes, you're not gonna hear those transmissions. So that's all there is to it. You wanna just make sure all your GRMS radios are set to the same transmit and receive CTCSS or DCS codes, and you'll be on your way. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.